Hello there, welcome to class 4. I hope you enjoyed class 3, all about growing spiritually, your spiritual growth, your spiritual journey, and I hope you've been put into practice those things that you've been learning. In class 4, we're going to be talking about conduct in the house of God. Do you know that there's a way to behave in the house of God, in the church of God? There's a way to behave. I want to show you from scripture, remember from class 1, that the scriptures is our foundation. So, 1 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 15 tells us, But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of truth. Let me read it to you in the NLT so it's more relatable. So that if I am delayed, you will know how people must conduct themselves in the household of God. This is the church of the living God which is the pillar and foundation of truth. There is a way to behave in the house of God. There's a way to carry yourself. We have a culture in the house of God. And the scriptures tell us, don't worry, it's nothing for you to worry about, just for you to be acquainted with, okay? But there is a way to behave in the house of God. This is probably going to be one of the shortest classes. But let me just give you a few things off a list that may help to guide your thinking. One of the good things to do is to dress good to church. Personally, I wear my best clothes to church. I love to dress on Sunday. I wear my best clothing. I aim to dress myself very, very nicely on a Sunday. Why? Because I'm going to the church of the living God. I'm going to worship God. Not a man. I'm going to worship God. So I dress my best when I'm coming to church. See? So, number one, dress good. Number two, come to church early. Number three, serve God good by lifting up your hands, worshiping when we are worshiping. Praising when we're praising. Number four, be involved in the work. Get involved in a department. Number five, love your brethren. Care for their future and progress with God and in life generally. Number six, respect your leaders that have been placed above you so you can easily be blessed by them. Number seven, be a soul winner and invite people to church. Number eight, be a giver in church. Aim to fill the gap wherever help is needed of your resources, of your talents or other abilities. So be a giver. Put of your resources, what you are able to do as a person, even financially, with the gospel, helping the gospel spread, and also of your talents, of your abilities, of the places that you're able to render service. Number nine, suggest solutions, and it could get recognized. Where you see a place where something could be done better, you could politely, courteously, in the right way, suggest, hey, could this be done? Where you see something that maybe could be done in a more efficient way, or you have something that you can offer that may be able to help, you can suggest to your leader, hey leader, could we go this way? I think if we go this way, we may be able to achieve such and such and such. And you don't know, your suggestion may go ahead and you will be celebrated. But these are just nine simple ways. Maybe you can think of a tenth one yourself. But there is a way to conduct yourself in the house of God. Be modest, be gentle, be polite, be loving and carry that same atmosphere of love and peace and joy and excitement out to your world. So, this has been class four, very short on how to behave in the house of God. Very, very important because it helps the church grow and keeps it as a place of love and fellowship of the Holy Spirit. For now, this has been class four and I'll see you in the next one.